If one man in all the world can be found, now or forever, to know that you did wrong, that man will have either to conquer the world as I have, or be crucified by it. Do you hear? These knockers at your gate are also believers in vengeance and stabbing. You have slain their leader. It is right that they shall slay you. If you doubt it, I ask your four counselors here. And then, in the name of that right, shall I not slay them for murdering their queen and be slain in turn by their countrymen as invaders of their fatherland? Can Rome do no less than, than slay these slayers too to show the world how Rome avenges her sons and her honor? And so, to the end of history, Murder shall breed murder, always in the name of right and honor and peace, until the gods are tired of blood and create a race that can understand. Hearken, you who must not be insulted, go near enough to catch their words. You will find them bitterer than the tongue of Pothinus. What has held them baffled at the gate all these months? Was it my folly as you deem it? or your wisdom in this Egyptian Red Sea of blood, whose hand has had all your heads above the waves. And yet, when Caesar says to such an one, friend, go free, you, clinging for your little life to my sword, dare steal out and stab him in the back. And you, soldiers and gentlemen and honest servants, as you forget that you are, applaud that assassination and say, Caesar is in the wrong. By the gods, I am tempted to open my hand and let you all sink into the flood.